so we're taking a lunch break. We just pulled over. We're right outside of Clewiston. And we're in the little park. Can't think of the name of it right now. But she's making us some sandwiches. And we're gonna have an early lunch before we head back out. Give you an idea where we're at. Right on the other side of that dike is Lake Okeechobee. Got this little pond here. All right, that's it. We're early, we left early. So, we decided to stop to have our lunch. I just wanted to show you the little park that we're in. I'll put down at the bottom what the name of it is. I just can't think of it right now. But today is uh, Thursday, the 29th, February 29th, and we are going camping. We're heading out to Fish Eating Creek, which is about uh, I think an hour, about an hour away from here, and uh, maybe a little less. But that's it. We got the rig loaded up. I'll show you our setup once we get there. And uh, until then, later. All right, we are at Fish Eating Creek Outpost, Palmdale, Florida. We are checking in. We're about an hour and a way, about an hour and a half away from our home, not too far. We're gonna spend the next four days here. We have never been here before, so we'll do a walkthrough, show you the setup. And we'll see what's going on here, but uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Fish Eating Creek Outpost. Later. Yesterday, and we're all set up. This is what we got with the Oz tent set up in the back. I just want to show you. We were trying to get it up close. There's the back of the camper. I went straight over the tent, and then I got these uh, suction cup hooks. Because I knew that we were going to be on a concrete slab and I needed a way to build the tent and I needed something forward of the tent to tie up so I got me some of these and they work great that way I could set up the tent because if I didn't have a concrete slab I could just tie those off on the ground but they would have been in the way but this way I have a way of keeping these ropes out of the way. Doing the dishes, clean on the coffee pot. Got the screen in porch or patio, whatever you want to call it. And back here, we set up in the back portion of the tent. Hang out here, we eat. But out here, this is kind of the a little workstation. And just to give you an idea of what our setup looks like. Inside we've already kind of made the bed. We're back into the couch. Our TV. So we're good to go on that. Alright. So yeah, so we're at Fishing Creek Outpost, 
Palmdale, Florida. Not a very big place. Oh. There's a highway right here. You can hear the cars. There's also a railroad track. And it does get pretty loud, but when I booked this site, this was the only site available. And, um, but yet, you can see there's a bunch of empty spaces right here, so I don't know what, what's all, all that about, but I think they're doing a wedding here, so I think they're doing a wedding here tomorrow. So if I can, we might sneak over there and take a peek and see what's going on. But uh, today's Friday. We have no idea what we're going to do, but I'll bring my camera along to show you. I think we're going to go for a bike ride before we do breakfast. But I just want to say... Welcome to the channel. Alright, so that's it. I set up. And now I'll check back with you in a minute. Yeah. Thought I had a flat tie there for a minute. I'll be up over here somewhere. She's gotta go to the bathroom. Alright, so we riding through. If you wanna check out some of the sites. So all these sites right here all next to the bathroom, pretty, pretty cool. Howl's Handicap, got some shade. All right guys. So yeah, so we're on the side of where the highway is, which is the loudest side of the park here. So obviously we didn't know that when we booked, but give you an idea if you can see the map here. So we are F6, we're right here. There's a highway, there's a train track. So. Fish Eating Creek Outpost. Uh, like I said, it's not a very big park, but it's nice. Show you around. Yeah. Alright, so you wanna ride to the other section over here? Alright. It is just after 7.30. You gotta watch the potholes. Probably in the mid 60s, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's all that? A little bike trail or dirt oh, bike? Yeah, they have uh, the, well, like the yo yo you can do. Oh, okay. Yeah. The mountain bike stuff? They do? Yeah. I might have to take this bad boy off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have here. Why not? L1 to L5. A little pond back here. Yeah. Uh, 
go up to the water. Wow, I'm impressed. I just, I'm just surprised that there's not a, any more people. There's nobody back here. Look at the cliff there. Right there. Snap right at you. Yeah, and I've fished the last 30 years with them. I, I know what I'm doing. Right. Hello, beach area right there. Uh, right here. Huh? It's nice over here. I want to see what this sign says. All right, we're back here in the back, far back. <sighs> Swimming rule. All right, so there's no gators back here, so they're not. Yeah, there's no gators back here. Just a little dugout pond back here. So just to give you an overview, there's the bathrooms right there. All these campsites back here are completely shaded. Picnic tables. There are no hookups. There's no gators back here. No? Oh, wait. That's a Because that's a swimming pond back here. Oh, this is the swimming pond. Yeah, so. Can people go swimming in here? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh. I'd but there's oh. what? Pic, no, I just closed my thing. Pictures of um, are there people swimming? Were there? Oh my god, a ton! Yeah, this hot. gets packed in the summer swimming. Yeah, there's and no what gators back here. A swimming rule: no dogs allowed. But okay. uh, you know, I, it, I'm sure it's okay. But if bacteria. Is, this like is like if you have a little cut. Right, you have fresh water. This is not. That little cut, if you have a little cut, that's what that flesh eating bacteria is. So you're saying if you swim back here, you'll die? You could. All right, so uh, my wife says if you swim back here, you'll it's probably. I would, the you'll probably be gone in six months. It's not even moving, like the water. There's no. Yeah, there's no. It's so, not. So, no, I wouldn't swim in that. I've have gone swimming in lakes but the water's moving and all right so we're gonna go but i mean far as the sites these are awesome these are good sites i mean you got tree roots and stuff i mean it wouldn't be level but you know right to the end go around the circle yeah the and then we'll go to where we i want to go up front yeah where we were yesterday oh all right let's take Let's take off. Ain't nobody back here. back there you can hike I'll do that later and show you what it what's back there it's pretty neat like I said it's not a very big park so the hiking trail is not very long you check in over here at the little store up front when you come in they got the basics if you need something. And they do canoe and kayaking uh, rentals over here, but it says it's I'm going in to get them brakes checked. So if you come here to rent, according to the sign over here, it's Let's see, it is. According to this sign here for a canoe or a double kayak, it's $20 an hour, $50 for four hours, or $70 for full day. 
Ah, that's outrageous. Um, so we were going to do that, but that's crazy. The prices. So, huh? Yeah. All right. So. Gazebo. Are they supposed to have a wedding here tomorrow? Maybe. Oh, today's Friday. Yeah, it's either today or tomorrow. Yeah. So we might snoo we might crash that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna ride over here. Yep, I'm probably Alright, so there's a little public boat ramp here. You could actually uh, just come in for the day. There's a couple people here that's got boats. Or if you're camping here, you just bring your little boat. Pretty nice back here. This is first time? Yeah, how about you guys? Oh, we've, oh, we've been coming out here for years and years. Oh, okay. It's yeah. nice. Long before the boardwalk and everything. Oh, oh really? Okay. okay. If you get up real, real, real early in the morning. We do. And uh, <laughs> if you can put on some hip boots or uh, uh, waders uh, and walk the trail and all, you can see deer and hog and turkey and that way, right? Yeah. No. She won't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's great. I'm, it. like that too. I'm just learning a to what? be outdoorsy. A panther. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, we got we got video of panther and deer. We didn't get any turkey. We didn't didn't get any hogs. Well, if you got a shot of a panther, that's good. You don't never see them. Yeah. You know. Of course, we were only about thirty foot from the track. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, are you guys from Florida? Oh yeah. Yes. Fort Myers. Oh. Fort Myers. We come oh. we come out here once a month. Wellington, oh, okay. that's Palm yeah. Beach. Yeah, going up too far. Yeah, we come out once a month just to get away. Uh, yeah, work still gets in our way. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. You, you too. too. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Yeah. All right. Before you open the other pack. There, perfect. Look at that. This grill cooks fast. Huh? This little griddle cooks fast in the middle. Do them on the outside. Later. Move your pan. All, no, no, all the way. But I remember it just...
All right, let's go eat, eat breakfast. What we have, we have a bagel, egg. We have our sausage. And for salad. All right, so we're at the Tropical Winery. back we're going to do a wine tasting and I just want to give you an overlook of what it looks like but there's the vineyard this is pretty cool back here huh? wow yeah, this is pretty neat so come out here have your wine sit back here and but it's a little windy but so we're at tropical winery see the vineyard behind me and uh we're on the back porch and we're going to do a wine sampling with a little bit of a snack and then we're going to head back to the campground but i just wanted to show you what this place looks like it is pretty neat Take a selfie with the heart. Alright. We're gonna take a selfie. We're gonna take a lonely. <laughs> How much was it for? Twelve dollars for, for the, the flight, which is the sampler of five wines. Sampler, five different wines for twelve dollars, and the and uh, basic twenty dollars for the charcuterie board. Right. Which is supposed to be enough for two to three people. You were trying to get the Malbec Reserve, my favorite. Which one is that you didn't like? This the guava, and I love guava. I'm not. Watch, I'll probably like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, did? Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So, how do you come up with the name Cat Three and Cat Two? Um, Any those, particular reason? Or? No, those are from, um, my husband makes them for Schnevely Winery in Homestead. I don't know if uh, you're oh. familiar with the oh, winery really? in Miami. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. So I guess it's a Miami thing. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah. Try yours. Yours was what? Very good. Pineapple is very good. All right, so we get this, uh, we got this little spread. Uh, Ooh, got, that pineapple one is very good. I forgot good. how much we pay for this. It was 20, 20 bucks. bucks. All right, so 20 bucks to get this. Uh, for two to three people. Mango. It's a dessert wine. It's just a white that I have. And I got one more left, which is sparkling passion. Alright. Alright, so they're back there setting up. They are doing a wedding here, I think, tomorrow. Whether you're first time campers or seasoned veterans, Wildwood RV Rental is a great foot fit for you. We stock all of the RVs with the basic necessities, clothes and food. Yeah, so there, that must be a Oh, and look, and they, it's only the Wildwood, it's the Forest Rivers. Right, so what do you do? You just, you can reserve that certain- Well, I'm looking right now. You can reserve that certain unit. Hmm. Ah, 
Okay, we learn something every day, so. Introducing camping destinations, your ultimate guide. Rent your RV. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So can you rent one and have them set it up where you want it? Yeah. Or? Great. Nightly. We're going for a walk. It's not cheap, though. Starting at 100 bucks. Yeah, but you're not. All you got to do is show up. You're mm -hmm. not doing any of the labor, or no, no. I, that's not bad. Security deposit. Two hundred dollars. And, and delivery fee, two hundred dollars. We're gonna use this little grill today. Get my coals ready. Probably, uh, probably got about another 20 minutes to go. And then I'm probably going to get to use my Robert Irvine grill here. So, pretty simple. When you get it, it comes like this. And I have a lid for it. So I did see this on QVC. I don't buy from QVC, but I saw this and I thought it was really cool to get for camping. I think I paid about $60 for it. And I had to put it together. But you can carry it. It's really compact. It's not very big, so you're not gonna feed a whole bunch of people, but once you put it together, and this little pan slide flies in there. Once my coals are done, I'll pour them in here. Flip your, your grill, your grill over like that. And it sets down in place. And then I'll just wipe this down with some olive oil so my kebabs don't stick. And uh, be my first time using it. I've had it for over a year. Have I not put it to use? So I'm trying it today. So it's the Robert Robert Irvine a portable grill. All right. So let me show you what I'm doing for dinner. I've never done kebabs on a on a charcoal grill before. Believe it or not. So we got chicken, I got onion and some bell pepper. And uh Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a little while, but that's what we're doing for dinner. We're gonna do it the Robert Irvine style. Let's hope this works out. And uh yep. Everybody's Outside cooking. Everybody's uh, out and about. More people here today than it was yesterday. All of this right here was empty. But uh, yeah, people are coming out. The weather's pretty nice. It's not too hot. So we're going to eat out here again. We're not going to be in the tent. Uh, <clears throat> And that's it.
me. We got some kebabs going. We're camping in our tiny little camper. And now uh, we have everything we need. Usually we eat in here, but since it's not a lot of nice out, we're going to eat outside. And uh, we have, uh, you know, water. And uh, we have our great water line heading out. So I don't have to use the tank. We're probably going to eat out here tonight. Set up the little table. We have the computer over here, watch a movie or something. Everything is tiny and small, but we can do a lot with it. And that was the whole point, was getting a little camper and um, heading out. So, all right. So I'm gonna let this cook. Hopefully I got enough charcoal in there, which I think I do. And um, let it cook. Just roll that over a little bit. Gotta watch them. Now the only thing about this grill is you, you can't cover it. So you're gonna have to really put it on some high heat. And uh Alright, we'll check back on it. Alright, let's let's check on the kebabs here. I just want to show you. We're starting to get a little bit of color on it. I just flipped it. Uh, I'm gonna let it go a little while and then I'll just keep turning it, make sure the chicken's done. My uh, veggies are already starting to caramelize a little bit. I started on my fire, which I couldn't get it to start yesterday, but I got smart. And I got me some tumbleweeds and we're up and running for now, so guys are expert fire starters and you're probably going to make a comment about my crappy fire but please let me know what's the easiest way to do it and try to build like a pyramid I don't know but it's got something going alright I'll check back we'll check back on the kebabs and we got what leftover potato salad huh hello oh. We got leftover potato salad, right? Yes, we right. do. All right, so we and have peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie for dessert. dessert. So we have our chicken kebabs, I'm gonna set us up leftover inside. potato salad, leftover peanut butter pie, and tomorrow I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but we'll do something. All right, check back in a minute. All right, so let's do a little quick kebab update. I just put a little piece of foil over it and retain a little bit of the heat. Maybe it'll help cook it a little bit faster, but they are, they are looking good. I just put a little top on it and see how that does and I'll keep rotating them. Uh, the fire, not so much, but we're working on it. I had to use your one little piece of foil. That's fine, that's why I'm glad I bought it. Awesome. Yeah, but they rolled there. Mm -hmm. It's not like they drove their car there. All right, we're winding down. Um, another boring video for you guys. My fire is still not cooking. I figured the, the wood that we got might have, might have some moisture in it because it's hard to set this, catch this wood on fire, but we'll see, we're gonna work on it. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it would help that I left it out on the ground overnight, so there's probably some moisture. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bob, we're cooking. We'll do another update in a second. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Uh, today is Saturday. Saturday the second, March second. Uh, just had breakfast. Might just go on a little bike ride. I don't know, we'll find something to do, but not much going on. Just hanging out. 
and we might get a little bit of rain today I'm not too sure but uh, there's a lot more people in the park today a lot, of, a lot of people came in late last night there's a bunch of boy scouts that are here and girl scouts that are here so there's probably gonna be a lot more activity this afternoon so and there's a wedding going on so we might go take a look and see how they're doing it that's it. I think we're going to go over to LaBelle, LaBelle, Florida, have lunch, and we'll probably come back here, hang out, and see what's going on, do a little people watching, and uh, that's it. Tomorrow we go back, so just wanted to check in, let you guys know what we're up to, and uh, yeah, pretty quiet right now, so all right. I'll check back with you later, guys. Bye. There's more activity. Oh, yeah. A lot more people. A lot more people. It's a, it's a following. I know. Also, I want to, I'm checking everything out. Like, it's like riding through Waco. Right. Suspicious. Something suspicious in the back yeah. here. I know. I want to keep riding. Rather than they try to recruit you. I want to go by later, see if there's more people around. Yeah. There's some God, suspicious activities going on. I don't want to rush the dead, but I can't wait to see tonight. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Maybe there would be a sacrifice. They need a candy, you know, that has some voodoo there. Maybe. See some voodoo doll thing. <laughs> we'll watch that movie, Blair Witch. <laughs> Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah, we should watch that tonight.
Oh no. You should look to her. People are already renting the canoes or kayaks. It does did feel cult cultish, didn't it? Huh? It did feel cultish. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's like... <sighs> and, well, it's like nomad, like they... They're like secluded. Mm -hmm. They probably have some type of study group. Some fake, fake Bible that they... Where? They didn't look like a study. I didn't see Bible. No, but you know, you get preached to about, you know... Go back later. You know, they probably got that the leaders probably got seven wives. They all share. <laughs> Babe, you're on you're on camera. But you're the one that said seven wives. Morning. <clears throat> Can't hear it, but yeah, I'm it over. Yeah, so, yeah. all right. So we're gonna watch. What's the show called again? I forgot. Master. Masters of the Air. Master. Of the air. Masters of the Air. Because we had their down pilots in our camps. They treated our boys Use them all. Huh? Use it all. You use oh. a box too. Try to start your fire. Oh, there's a couple more in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them all. You're gonna need more than that. Let me see. Oh, no worries. Huh? Oh, God. You know how to do it? Yeah, I'm going to. Have you ever built a fire before? I've watched Survivor more than you have. Okay, so that... So that officially oh. makes you a fire starter? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that wood looks wet. Nope. So the last two days I couldn't build a fire, so she's gonna do it. <laughs> fire starter here. And you have no faith. Come on, let's go. Chop chop. I am. Look at the little pieces of twigs and stuff. Here. Huh? There's one right there, a little piece right there. Here, a little piece right here, I'll even help you. Good to go. Uh, what are you? What are you? What are your strategy here? What are you doing? Well, that's when I'm ready to put the wood. So this is how you're gonna start your roaring fire. Mhm. Mm you make fun. Don't make fun. Are you like Tom Hanks and Castaway? Oh no, fun! I'm gonna scream it. I have to press that. And this is where it dies. How's it going? It's going. It's going, it's going. Give it what? Five minutes before it's, it's out? Huh? There we go. We'll see. Alright. Where's the fire at?
Alright, good morning. Uh, today is Sunday. <clears throat> we go back home today. It is just 10 after 8. We just had breakfast. And checkout is 1 o'clock, so we're not in a hurry, but we're going to start packing up. Uh, it did rain a little bit last night, so we're going to have to dry out some things, but other than that, it should be pretty easy. Uh, everybody's starting to wake up. A bunch of the tent campers are already packing up their tents. They're leaving. <clears throat> the one thing I've, I've noticed with this campground is with all the tent campers over there by the bathroom, they only have one bathhouse on this side. Is um, it got destroyed? So um, almost to the point where you don't even want to use the bathroom. So that wasn't pleasant. But uh, yeah. So other than that, pretty cool place. Um, I don't know if I'll be back. Uh, you know, but it's it's okay. It's a nice nice little campground. Not very big. Um, but uh, we enjoyed it. We had fun. It was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna pick up, load the truck, maybe do another bike ride, uh, some maybe walk around, and then we're out of here. But uh, yeah, I've already started. I put the tarp down there to dry it out. <coughs> the shower curtain that we used, we wrapped it around the wrapped it around the thing there. It got wet. So, yep, we're done. We're done camping. Alright guys, I'll check back in a minute. Alright, so we're back home. We just unloaded the trailer. Got it all empty. We cleaned it out. We got everything taken out. We wipe everything down, get all the condensation out of the fridge. We are empty. I already had the side locked up. And just to show you where I put everything. Because I know you're not going to be watching the end of this video. So, regardless, I put everything on my shelves for the most part. Try to keep it a little bit organized. And really, not that you care, but so I got the indoor outdoor carpet out of here drying out. It got wet because it rained last night, so I want to make sure that. It's completely dry before I roll it up. I might have to drag it into the garage and just let it lay on the floor there. But, uh, alright, so all I have to do is unhook the trailer, back it up into the backyard, and we're done. So, appreciate you not watching. Till the next adventure, I'm out.